Hi guys, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get oh, on Android, Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to learn how to unroot your Galaxy Note 8 complete back to stock. If you mess up, um, if you get stuck, boot loop, whatever, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, before I begin, flashing stock firmware will erase everything on your phone. All right, go ahead and use Samsung Smart Switch. It's on your phone. And go ahead and back up everything you need, your apps, app data, and everything. All right, and I'll also outline how to disable OEM unlock for those of you upgrading to Oreo. Um, but back up everything just because flashing stock firmware will erase everything on your phone. All right, once you are ready to go, go ahead and power off your phone. And I'll also outline stuff you'll have to do to reroute your phone without losing OEM unlock for seven days. Um, next, what you want to do is go ahead and hold down volume down, big speed, and the power. All right. This will you put you into Odin download mode. Once you see the warning screen, let go of all the buttons, hit the volume up key, and connect it to your computer USB type C cable. You'll need a Windows computer for this. Let's go to your computer. All right. Go ahead and go to galaxynote8root.com. Um, go to the tour of recovery section and you'll need Samsung Galaxy Note 8 USB drivers for Windows. All right. And also uh, Odin. All right. And if you want to reroute your phone, um, you also need Magisk Arm MM State Bypass and also Anti Removal Tool if you want to reroute it. You just have to flash these three files. Um, also, you need Torp Recovery if you're going to root your phone. But if you're just unrooting back to stock firmware, you just need the Samsung USB drivers and Odin. And also, you need um, stock firmware here. Go to Galaxy Note 8 stock firmwares. I do have stock firmware for the T Mobile, Verizon. Uh, Sprint and AT&T not available yet. All the Korean ones, these are all Oreo. Um, also, um, you can use this one if you have a, a international SMN950F or SMN950F slash DS. Um, we're not going to be flashing CSC, so you can pretty much use any of the uh, international stock firmware. Now, if you have carrier-specific apps, um, such as VOLT or stuff that only works in your country, you can go and download the exact country firmware at sammobile.com here. Um, so go ahead and find, let's say you're in Germany, Vodafone, you can go and download that. Now, um, for all these download links uh, on my site, the links are all at the bottom. Click here to download. So don't click on the ads, go to click here to download. For example, if you're downloading Twerp, um, don't worry about the ads. Just go click down here where it says um, download here, wait five seconds, and click here to download. That's it, and that will download all the files you need. Uh, okay, once you have downloaded all the files, then you should have, if you're just unrooting your phone, you'll need Odin, Samsung USB, and the firmware. I'm using uh, SMN950F slash DS. It's actually a Taiwanese model, so I have the exact country firmware here. If you need uh, to reroute, uh, which I'll also show you, um, you also need uh, Magisk V16.0, um, also, you should have downloaded RMM State Bypass and also Samsung Anti-Removal Tool. You could see root for OEM issue, just grab the RMM State Bypass. It's faster. I recommend it. Now, this is for those of you rerouting your phone. All right. Um, go ahead and double click on Odin3 underscore 3.13.1. Um, extract all files. You get a folder called Odin3 underscore V313.1. Go ahead and double click on Odin3 EXE program. Right, and um, you should see a blue highlighted box like this. If you don't see this, you don't have proper drivers installed. So go to downloads and go to Samsung USB driver EXE program. Double click on this, run this program. Uh, once your driver is installed, you, and go ahead and unplug your USB and plug it back in, and you will see this blue highlighted box. If you see this, you're good to go. Next, you'll have to unzip your um, firmware file. So double click on the firmware file and extract all files. Once you have done that, you get a folder um, with the name of the firmware. Um, go ahead and click on the folder. You'll have all the files here. Now, um, you can go ahead and flash these three, APBLCP. Um, you don't really have to flash CSC unless you're actually changing CSC. So I just recommend flashing these three. So I'm gonna go here, choose BL. I'm gonna go into the firmware folder, choose BL. All right, matching the first couple letters. All right, that will set blue. That's the bootloader, and we're gonna go ahead and choose AP. 
All right, and make sure you're using Odin V3.13 or higher. If you don't, you'll get an error while flashing because this is because of the new compression Samsung is using. And if you're trying to flash using older Odin versions, you get an error while flashing. All right, so make sure you're using um, V3.13.1 or higher, or just use the one in my site. Um, go ahead and choose CP, go ahead and choose CP. All right, again, you don't really have to flash CSE, but whether you flash CSE or not uh, with the newer Samsung firmwares, it will erase everything on your phone. That's why I told you to use Samsung Switch and back up everything. I hope you backed up everything before pressing this button. Now, go ahead and hit start and you're good to go if you're just unrooting. Um, if you are going to reroute, um, go ahead and check auto reboot off and then go ahead and hit start. This will allow you to um, not make the phone reboot. Um, that way you can reboot it back into uh, download mode and flash OEM unlock disable, which is the RMM bypass. And also you can go ahead and flash uh, Majisk for root and also uh, additional files. So you'll be able to keep root. Okay, at this point, um, if you're just unrooting, your phone should have rebooted and give it five minutes and you'll be back at the welcome screen and you should have fully unrooted. Congratulations. Now, if you are going to reroute and you want to keep OEM unlock disabled, uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and hold down volume down, Bixby and power. Hold it down. Um, this will reset your phone and put you back into download mode. Um, so we can go ahead and reflash twerp and OEM unlock disable. All right, before um, it reboots. All right, you'll be back in the warning screen. Hit the volume up key. All right, go back to Odin here. Go ahead and reset. Um, next, go ahead and check AP and go ahead and choose the Torp recovery you downloaded for Node 8. This is for Exynos only, by the way. Uh, and next you're gonna do, as soon as you hit start, you're gonna hold down volume up and um, the Bixby, and as soon as the screen goes off, you're gonna hit the power button altogether. So I'm gonna hit start, hit volume up, Bixby, and as soon as the screen goes off, hit the power button. And give it about one, two, three, and let go of all the buttons, you'll be back on Torb Recovery. Go ahead and choose Keep Read Only. All right, go back to your computer, all right, once here, next you'll need to do wipe and go to format data, say yes. All right, and then hit the home button, go to reboot and go to recovery and do not install. This will reboot you back into Torp recovery. All right, go ahead and choose keep read only. Next, go back to your computer and we're gonna go ahead and copy over Samsung anti-removal tool RMM State Bypass, and also Majisk V16.zip. Uh, Go ahead and copy it to your Note 8. Sorry, mine says S9 Plus because I installed a S9 ROM before. Don't worry about that. You don't need your USB cable. Um, next, you're gonna go ahead and install, very important, you're gonna install Samsung Anti-Removal Tool. This is also, um, also decrypts uh, the st stock ROM, right, which you'll need to do and also gets ri rid of uh, um, warning messages. Once this is done, um, go ahead and also reboot back into recovery. Choose do not install, and this will reboot you back into Torp recovery. This step is important before you um, flash the magic stuff. Now you'll see that you don't get the uh, encryption error because it's been decrypted. Now go ahead and go to install. Go install the RMM state bypass. That will get rid of the OEM unlock so you can um, Always access it. Hit the back button, install Majisk. All right, and when that's done, you're gonna go ahead and reboot system. Choose do not install, and boom shakalaka. You should be uh, fully back rooted on Oreo, and we'll be back. All right, once at the start screen, let me go ahead and sign in real quick. All right, once rebooted, um, go into Majisk Manager, go ahead and do safety nets, and you should be able to pass it, passing, um, full root gain again. And also you can go and download Titanium Backup app to check you have full root. And boom shakalaka. All right, if you see super user request window, if you don't see it, you may have to reboot once, um, but um, everything should be working fine and you should be rooted back to root on Oreo. You can see that I'm on Android 8.00, all right? 
Um, for restoring apps, go ahead and use your um, smart switch and that should be it. Anyway, you should now have fully unrooted your Galaxy Note 8 or updated with the latest Oreo and also root enabled again. Um, that's pretty much it. Have a great day. And as always, stay whole on Android. Click here to subscribe.